Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, just a few questions that I will answer immediately. First of all, we told you that Moment 3 is here and it is available as a download. So of course you can go to your Windows updates and see that download. And once it is installed and restart the PC, it was quite fast in my case, uh, of course the update it comes as a cumulative update 502.64.46 uh, preview update. You will notice nothing different. And that is because the update doesn't turn on the features. Um, Microsoft just say if you want to have them, you have to do a little something. So how do you switch on Moment 3 if you want it now? Um, once again, as you see, I've got the seconds in the clock here. If you want to switch on Moment 3, you have to go into your settings. You have to go into your Windows Update. And you got to turn on the slider that says get the latest updates as soon as they're available. That will then, after a restart, give you some features. Now, why don't I have all the features? That's the very weird way that Moments have been updated. Moments have actually arrived in kind of in waves of features. So even though it's moment three, it's not all moment three, and it's not everything of moment three, it's part of moment three. And I believe some of us will have stuff that others don't. Uh, some of us will see things later on, and I don't understand why Microsoft does that, but um, part of it is delivered today Part of it will be delivered also at Patch Tuesday in June. So in the next weeks, we will have features pop up here and there as they are available. So there are things that you might see and uh, or that I might show that you don't have. And there are things that um, you might have that I don't have. It's the weirdness of the rollouts for Microsoft of these new features. So that's the way it is, and um, that's how you have to turn it on with that little switch there. So Moment 3, part of it is there, uh, like I said, but for the most part, um, and I don't understand personally why Microsoft does that, it is turned off by default. So even with today's update, which will have some bug fixes, well, the features are there, they're just turned off. So once again, you have to go and turn on that little switch there and hope for the best for some of the features that you actually want to see to be there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.